Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be going over brand new Final Cut Pro plugins and film LUTs. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we have our clip here. And we're going to start off with our B3 Sphere Security Cam plugin. I really love all these plugins because they are drag and drop and very easy to use. So as we drag our plugin into the timeline on our clip, you will see that it's already working. You can do a lot with this plugin and we're about to get into how we can do that. We can adjust the radius and we're going to take the mix down just so we can have all color in this plugin and we can change the center we can change the placement of the actual sphere to where we want it to go and we are actually gonna do some keyframing for this plugin and we're going to start off by doing that with the center. So we're going to start at the center. We're going to add our keyframe. Make sure your playhead is at the beginning of the footage before you add your keyframe. We're going to go to about the middle of the clip. And we're going to swing it over to the left side to where Gunna and Wheezy are. And let's play it back and let's see how this looks. Really cool effect. And we can turn the mix up and make this a completely different vibe of a video. Um, we can put the radius down and let's just see how this would look. Yeah, that's a super cool effect. This one looks even more like a security cam because it's black and white. But you guys can use your own creativity with this plugin. I hope you enjoyed that one. Now let's move on to the next one. Our next footage is of ASAP Rocky and Skeptis. Praise the Lord video that's on YouTube. You can go check that out as well. This is what the footage looks like without the LUT added. And all of these are vintage film LUTs. So there's five of them and we're going to start off with the very first one so as we add the LUT you can see it's already changing and you can adjust the amount of noise that's going to be in the footage you can adjust the mix and let's play that back and see how it looks It gives you that real old school grainy look that is in all the music videos nowadays. So you can adjust, you can bring the grain down, you can bring the mix down if you want, but that looks really, really good. Really great LUT that I always use in all of my films and music videos. So guys go get that it is in the link in the description below now let's move on to our next one okay so we are going to move on to our second vintage LUT and as we add it on to our timeline you see how it's changing already we can reduce the grain actually let's Let's actually see the clip for what it looks like without the LUT. Let's look at that. And let's see what it looks like with the LUT. A big, big difference. Yeah, these vintage LUTs just make the film look way better. Makes the footage look very professional. It gives it that old school look that everybody goes for these days and uh, I'm a fan of it and that's why uh, I created these LUTs and that's why I did it to help you guys to take your video footage to the next level. 
All right, I hope you guys like that one. Now let's move on to the next slut. Now for the next one, we'll be skipping the third one and going straight to the fourth one. I wanna thank you guys for staying this long into the video. For that reason, I am going to give you guys an extra plugin. The link is in the description below. And this is a text plugin. This is one of my favorite text plugins that I have. And you're gonna see why in a second. So um, this is the extruded text plugin. So as we drag it onto the timeline, as you can see, the black and white LUT is really, really good. It gives you that throwback look and the grainy look. So I'm not going to even change any grain. But let's play this clip so I can show you the text along with the LUT. There's a little glitching going on there, but let's run it back one more time and we can take this down the timeline a little bit. We can bring that back. There it is. That's a really cool text effect. And it goes right back. It matches really well with the film grain that we got going on here, our fourth vintage LUT. And we can add the name Of the artist, his name is Sensei Seven, and it goes right back. Very, very cool animation for a text. And we can change the color of the text if you wanted to. Um, let me just show you what it would look like if we change the color. It's probably not going to look right on this footage, but I'm just doing it just for example, just to show you what it would look like if you wanted it as a different color. And there it is, and it goes right back. So, yeah, that's a really, really cool text animation plugin that you can get. And it's a really good black and white LUT. And now let's move on to our next LUT. And for this LUT, I like it because it's a lighter tint of the fourth LUT, so I just like the look of it. It gives it a vintage look. We can tone down the grain a little bit for this one. Turn down the mix as well. And for this, we're gonna take the text off just so you can see the LUT a bit better. This is just another option that you have in the LUT pack. And now let's take that off and let's show you the last one. And this one is the best for last. Look at that. This just changes the whole mood of the scene. Really, really, really great color. I like the brown. This really gives it a throwback old school look that I love. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If this video helps you in any way, consider liking and consider subscribing because we will be dropping a lot of new content soon and you would want to be the first one to tune into that. And appreciate you guys watching the video and I will see you next time.